Can you really say that there are no jobs? Can we say that uh, there is nothing to do and that the only people we can uh, hope for to help us is the government? Now, let's just check how comes there are rich people and there are poor people. I'm not talking about thieves. I'm not talking about political thieves and um, other thieves who have plundered uh, wealth from different corners. But I'm talking about real, uh, genuine businessmen. Do we have them in the world today? Or does it mean that everybody now cannot be able to make anything? Yes, I know there, there is bad leadership everywhere in the, in the whole world, in every country. But uh, why are people not being able to see opportunities for business anymore? You see, the Bible has told us about this, and uh, it has told us what our biggest problem is because many people are blind. And the Bible tells us in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, that in whom the God of this world has blinded, has blinded the minds of them which believe not, if you don't believe, then Satan has blinded your eyes. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. My friend, if you're blind, then you'll not be able to see so many things. Remember, we are the light of the world. And light means creativity. Remember, God is a creative being. And uh, we are created in the image of God. And if God is creative, then we must be creative as well. So when we talk about people not knowing what to do, being in a, in a situation whereby they do not understand themselves, then there's something which is wrong. Probably they are blind in some way. And Satan can blind people so that they'll never know even the truth of how they will make money, even the truth of how they will be able to do businesses. For example, I was just sharing with a friend this early morning about uh, this person was asking me, Keith, I'm, I'm really wondering, how can I be able to make something for myself and my family? Times are really tough. I don't seem to get any job. I don't seem to understand what I'm going to do. And I was just sharing, for example, giving them an idea. And uh, I would like to share the same idea with you because, you know, being friends and, you know, people that we always speak together, the, the Bible, we, it's always good. I also tell you how you can be able to make something for yourself. Now, for example... When you look at uh, conventional jobs or the brick and mortar jobs, they are gone. The old type of jobs, they are gone. They have been taken over by AI. And, uh, but when one thing goes, another one comes. Now, we have a new revolution of new types of jobs, which are very promising. And, uh, for example, let me just give you an example. I was just telling this friend of mine that uh, all you need to do is very simple. Just go online check some place like for example here in kenya we have different platforms where people are selling things for example we have a we have a Gigi, uh, the former olx where people advertise different things that they are selling they're selling seeds they're selling flowers they're selling dogs they're selling you know electronics and many other things also on facebook marketplace we have people selling things on instagram and the places like that. All you need to do is just go and identify, just scroll down people selling different things. For example, let me give you a good example. For you to be able to do business, all you need to do is identify a product which is, uh, which is uh, of high value, all right? High value, I mean it is an expensive thing. And also identify a product, apart from just being of high value, it is a rare product okay it's not common to everyone and of, of course another thing it has a big margin of profit for example let's think about you identify someone selling leather seats all right this person who is selling leather seats online he might be selling maybe these leather seats at 200k all you need to do is just contact that person and tell them hey bro i see you're selling leather seats i i want to give you some clients who can be able to buy these leather seats. Nobody's going to say no. He, you, you, he's going to tell you, okay, when when are the clients? You tell them, okay, I usually advertise and, uh, and I know I'm going to get clients. Can I come and see the seats myself? You go to his showroom or his workplace, you see the seats and you negotiate probably because you're a broker, he's going to give you at 180 or maybe something lower. And what you're going to do is just tell him, let me take my own photos and then I can advertise. 
Then you take the photos and you go back home and you sit down on your mobile phone and uh, you open a WhatsApp business, for example, uh, your catalog, you place in that seat there and you advertise it at 250,000 or 230,000. You know you have a margin of 50K. And then what you do is play some ads just simple ads and target people in high-end areas where you know these areas people are more likely to buy like for example you target the uptown like if it's in nairobi you target uh, you know westlands runda those areas you know the upper areas where you know these guys might buy this product it depends what kind of product you're selling so definitely you're going to spend not much because there is now with whatsapp business you can be able to place ads and the cheapest ad you can do is about 150 shillings a day which meaning with a thousand shillings you can be able to do uh, five days of advertisement and definitely you you're going to get someone someone is just going to pop up and tell you hey how how much is this i saw your advert as long as you take good photos and you know what you're doing you put a nice title and all that so when somebody calls you and tells you i need this seat what you're going to do is tell the person hey can we deliver it to you go talk to that person who is a seller go with them to go and deliver to this person when they pay you give them their cut get your cut or if they say i want to come to your yard or showroom where you're selling it then go arrive early to the seller and tell them hey my client is coming so when they come you do the negotiations and everything else and let them be there and get their cut and you get your cut and that is how business is done and there are array of things that you can be able to do you can sell electronics you can sell tablets you can sell uh, dogs you know people are looking for chihuahuas people are looking there is so much on the internet that people need to sell so friends what i'm telling you is the only problem is that Satan has blinded people that they'll never see this truth. All they'll do is wake up every morning and say, oh, we don't know what to do. Uh, uh, we don't have jobs. We don't have jobs. Because the schools, like I've told you, the main work of the school is to confuse you and to give you baseless education, which cannot help you in any way. Think about people in the villages. They don't know where to sell their produce. Somebody has just produced oranges in his farm. He doesn't have the market. He doesn't know where to sell. Why can't you go to those villages, see the people producing oranges, producing bananas, producing onions, talk to them, let them give you a good price, take some good photos, uh, put them online, and somebody is going to be wanting to buy that type of product. You know, business is just getting something from a place where people have it in plenty and selling to another place where people have it in less. And that is exactly what business is all about. And God says he shall bless the work of our hands. But if you're employed somewhere, I'm not saying employment is bad. How will God bless the work of your hands? At the end of the day, when you wake up, God bless the work of my hands. It's basically blessing the work of your boss. So what work are you doing yourself? I really, I really thank people who open up people's minds, especially on business. Like um, uh, there's a book Bamboo has written, which is called uh, uh, something to do with money and how money works and all that. You see, we as believers, we have been blinded that money, we should not think about money and think about business. That is where we go wrong. Just imagine a, a million Christians who are up there and they have made it in life. How many people are going to rejoice? The Bible says when the wicked are in power, the people frown. But when the righteous are in power, the people rejoice. So why don't you want to be in power? It is because Satan has blinded people that they'll never know this truth. I don't know if I made sense to you and try to open up your eyes to know that there is another world market which has come in, which is called the the, the 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 digital world the digital business world which is much more simple 10 times simple than the world that was in before and we can use opportunity that we have right now till jesus comes we can be able to do something with ourselves